Hello, hello, friends. Welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video slash tutorial. This was a requested tutorial about uh, a GA aircraft, and this also involves the turbo props where you have a control for throttle prop RPM and mixture separately. So, what we are going to look is we will see how we use the prop RPM and the mixture control as well as the throttle while we are taking off, cruising, climbing, descending and landing. I hope to keep this around 20-25 minutes. Uh, we are at Innsbruck Airport. I picked this location due to the elevation because elevation has some a role in how the mixture control works and I think this is a great airport to show that or demonstrate that. Uh, we will jump into the cockpit here in a second and start the aircraft and we will talk about how we do this. Uh, unfortunately the last uh, patch broke some things about the liveries and uh, the mods I'm using for G1000, G3000 do have updates for those so please go and check their github pages if you have these up the, the mods installed to update your mods so that you have a working um, unit in your aircraft so let's let's hop into the cockpit and let's start the aircraft first batteries are turning on we will push the throttle all the way up and turn the, the fuel pump to prime the engine that's good enough we will pull the throttle back open it half an inch full rpm full mixture all right so and don't forget to turn on the nav and the beacon lights because we are starting the engine there we go we haven't let me see cold flop is open fuel do we have fuel in this aircraft let me check yeah we do okay let's try this again there we go so now we have a working running engine we can turn on the alternators to charge our batteries and the avionics so these startup screens are coming from the mod as far as I can tell. I can't remember um, if the default has this option. I don't think it does, but we will see. So let's set the barometric pressure by simply pressing B and not losing time there. And I'll, I'm going to set ourselves for 3000 or less to 4000 uh, feet. And we will head straight to the runway and we are going to depart from here and see what we can do so i will meet you at the runway i don't want to hold you guys here while i'm taxiing there let's turn on the taxi lights you can turn on the floodlights and the panel lights too and let's get going i'll meet you there at the runway welcome back friends we are holding short for the runway and before we take off I just wanted to go through a couple things uh, I'm using Beechcraft Bonanza G36 as the aircraft uh, this guy here this also has a mod which makes this aircraft a great one and there is a reason I picked this one because on the MFD there is an engine page and there is a lean page that helps you to lean the engine by using your mixture control which will make sense when we are talking mixture not every aircraft has this screen this one does but this will give you enough understanding uh, to, to to take care of the others even this screen is not there uh, this also has a system page shows you some electrical system and fuel system information as well as some map information like track up uh, is an option in the G1000 mod which this aircraft has so on and so forth so let's line ourselves up 
with the runway. I will take off with flaps 1, which I am doing right now. We are lining up slowly. So when you are taking off or landing, your mixture and your prop RPM needs to be at 100%. That's how I learned it. I'm not sure if this is the real life uh, practice, but that's what I know from my experience. Keeping the uh, mixture control and prop RPM at 100%. So can't you land if one of them is not at 100%? You can, no problem. The trick over there is to keep and maintain your speed, your approach speed, uh, when you are landing, which I think we have seen in the G1000 tutorial uh, under here, the timer and references switch, you have your reference uh, speeds. So this is the glide speed which I changed um, to 90 knots. It was, I think, 86 uh, as default, can't remember exactly. You guys can tell me in the comments what the uh, default value is. But you have to maintain that speed to perform a good landing. And if your mi mixture control and prop RPM is letting you to do so, why not? But I keep them at 100% when I'm landing or uh, taking off the runway. So, let's take off and fly the runway heading for a little bit. Let go of the brakes. Trying to hold her steady on the middle line. And off we go. Airspeed is live. We increase the throttle to 100%. We are 60 knots is checked. We are at 70. 75 and rotate she will lift herself off the ground slowly i'm trying to maintain the runway heading here so we can now retract the landing gear and let me retract the flaps too and i'm going to use autopilot uh, with heading hold and vertical speed mode so that we can discuss uh, what we are going to do with mixture control and prop RPM. So autopilot is on and I'm going to let go of the controls and as you see now my engine is flashing saying your RPM is too high and I just did a research about this. This is not a bad thing. Let me adjust my heading here just a tiny bit so that we don't run into any mountain there we go that's good enough for now so we are climbing to 4000 feet but as you see um, the engine if we go there and take a closer look to the engine my fuel flow is okay but not ideal and if I go to this page you see the fuel flow uh, gallons per hour displayed here and this is the exhaust gas temperature and this is the cylinder head temperature so we need to lean the engine to get more power out of it while we are climbing because now we are feeding it too much fuel and it's kind of choking the engine so I'm gonna zoom in there just a little bit so that we see both uh, the mixture control which is that red one over there and the uh, cylinder head temperature and the exhaust gas. So I'm going to pull back on mixture and as you see the EGT is rising as I pull back which means I'm burning efficient, more efficient than before. And the cylinder head temperature as you see it's, it's also increasing as far as I can tell. So there's a point where the EGT stops rising and it will stop, uh, it, it will start dropping see it keeps rising 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 and I think this is the highest it can go 881 882 so it's gonna drop when I pull back again there you go so this is what you call a lean of rich which means we just took it to the richest point and leaned it from there 
and as you see my aircraft is picking up speed now and getting even close to uh, the limit uh, or the danger zone uh, in other words so this is how you lean the engine while you are climb climbing and keep the prop RPM at 100% so when you reach your cruising altitude which we will hear in a second uh, let me get rid of that references over there and I will t turn ourselves to the right just a tiny bit just to maintain that heading and not run into the mountains so we are following this valley here and the outside is pretty pretty warm right now I'm not worried about pedo heat but we can go ahead and turn them on and prop the ice too just to be on the safe side so now we have the engine leaned and we are reaching our cruising altitude now we are almost there so when the aircraft levels it's gonna keep speeding up and it will over speed to prevent that we need to maintain a constant speed and for this aircraft I keep it around 150 and I do it by first reducing the prop RPM two somewhere around uh, if you see here let me just zoom in somewhere around 2300 so just a tiny bit more but I'm gonna yeah uh, keep it a little bit more and then I'll come back on the throttle where the manifold uh, pressure sits in between these two white lines okay this will give me a good cruising speed around 140 145 depends on the circumstances like how much headwind you have how much tailwind you have so on and so forth but this is how I lean the engine and how I set my prop RPM for cruise 2300 50, 2300 and if it's a little bit more you can come back on the throttle and drop the RPM by just doing it or you can physically uh, drop the speed not the RPM I'm sorry, I'm, RPM is going to set to that but you can drop the speed by controlling your throttle or you can increase it by you know adding more throttle to the equation so that's how you set your cruise okay so this is basically covering the takeoff part and the cruise part. So let's jump into the MFD, go to the flight plan, and let's go direct to Innsbruck Airport, uh, which is Lima, Oscar. Whiskey and India. There we go. Enter. Enter one more to activate. Switch to nav mode. Now the aircraft should start turning as soon as I switch to GPS. There we go. Right on time before we ran into that mountain range. So what we are going to do, so I'm going to do an ILS approach. So go to the procedure, select approach. I want an ILS if there is any here. No, we can do an RNAV. We can do an RNAV. I'm picking it randomly. I'm not sure. I haven't checked the charts. I'm just going to load it for now and see what happens. So now it's going to swing around. Yeah, it's gonna swing around, do a teardrop, and then try to come back. And hopefully, let me check the charts real quick. So this is our uh, which one? Our um, nav eight Z with LMM transition. All right. Our nav eight. Let me see the approach. Our nav eight. Zulu. So okay, I'm looking to the approach chart right now. Uh, we are a little bit low, I guess. Let me let me look out. Oh my gosh! No, 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 no. 
I didn't play well with the altitude, didn't I? I need to start climbing immediately. Or I'm gonna end up in that mountain range. Let's let's turn around. Let's turn around. Let's turn around, because this is going to be a problem if we do. Oops, 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 okay, 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 easy, easy, easy. Alright, so, back to heading mode, I think I'm not at the right altitude. Um, I'm not at the right altitude to... go around and do a procedure for instrument approach. I barely saved the aircraft and it wasn't the best thing to do. I used some excessive g-force there. But let's just go back like this and turn around from there potentially and follow the valley back. And we will do a visual approach. We don't do an, we won't do an instrument landing. I'm trying to turn around all the way back 180 degrees. And speed looks okay. We are turning just fine. Alright, so I will meet you guys again when I am close to the airport. And I mean, it's simple. You have to do full mixture, full um, RPM, and execute the landing like that. I didn't like. I don't like this. Close by passing to the mountain range. I'm gonna take control for a second and correct ourselves yes okay this is better this is better alright get back onto the autopilot and let it do its thing and I will meet you guys when I'm close to the airport Welcome back guys, so we're getting close, the airport is right around that corner, right after there we should be able to visually see it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start descending to a lower altitude, like maybe 3000 and let's see how that looks like. I will pitch the nose down and I will drop ourselves at around 600 feet per minute and I need to come back on the throttle to slow us down so that we don't over speed while we are descending we are picking up speed okay and let me see if we have a visual of the airport yet because it should be right there uh, after this turn and I think we can go a little bit down to 2000 uh, I think it should be fine and we will try to do a visual approach uh, into the airport. Is that the airport that I see over there? Could it be that one, that strip right there? Not sure, we will see. If we have to turn around and come back because we are high, we will do that, but we'll see. So while we are getting there, I'm going to slow us down a little bit more, come back on the throttle. And I'll go full RPM, full mixture. Just to get ready uh, for the approach. Okay, it is time to turn around just a little bit. I think the airport should be over there. We are still uh, a little far away. So no need to get it loud. I will keep 
keep it like this. Let's turn right a little bit more. Okay, I see the airport on the MFT. Right there. So I'm going to follow that line, which was our, our nav approach. see if I can line myself up with that line a little bit better to align with the runway properly and I will take control uh, when I see a visual of the runway and I think 2000 feet is a good estimation of where you start or where you have to be to to land this aircraft uh, maybe not so I'll stay at 3000 because I'm getting pretty low here uh, due to the elevation I'll stay at 3000 I think we are okay we are following that line there is a hill over there which makes me nervous just a little bit so I might uh, take a little bit left turn and try to not to go over that hill and make it through there and hopefully we will see the airport uh, after that it's beautiful out there today everything looks great and I think that's it guys uh, the prop RPM and the mixture control is really not rocket science just go with your instincts and try to get uh, used to the engine sounds to see where you're at but for this aircraft even if you don't have this displays you will have an RPM display 2300 2350 will do just fine for most of the GA aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator I think that is the aircraft I'm seeing airport not aircraft yeah it is okay so we found we found the airport it's okay we are going to try to come across the runway and then take control of the aircraft I will control the throttle and go full mixture full RPM here in a second and try to land and I'm extending one level of flaps right now and it is time to go full RPM, full prop turn off the autopilot, make a right turn there we go so now we have the airport we have two green, two white, two red lights on the puppy lights and I'm gonna maintain this and I will extend the landing gear which will create more drag and I will extend the last level of flaps now I can control the throttle and bring us down to uh, 90 knots which is going to be our approach speed and we'll take it from there so I'm hand flying right now and watching the puppy lights to see where I'm at two red, two white is what I'm looking for and I'm doing small adjustments to line the aircraft with the runway. Good. So two white, two red. We are on the glide path. This is what it is telling me. Uh, we are going to slow her down just a tiny bit more towards 90. I'm a little bit high, so I'll just push the nose down. But we are coming in very nicely. So, and the speed is looking okay we are sitting around 94 I'm not worried about that that much as soon as we have a good uh, glide into the runway speed will not going to be an issue so small corrections here and I'm going to use my rudder pedals to correct the nose like so yeah we are definitely at a good point cut the throttle pitch the nose up 
and let her bleed the speed off. Hold it there, hold it there, and she will put the wheels down, push the nose, and now I can hit the brakes and slow ourselves down. And that is it, I guess, guys. So this is basically the RPM and prop, uh, prop RPM and the mixture control of the engine. It's literally keeping it at 100% during takeoff and landing to have more control and just to deal with throttle only to control your speed. That's the, the point of uh, keeping it at 100% so that you just deal with a single uh, lever rather than three different levers to maintain the speed. And during cruise, just listen to the engine, set yourself for 23 to 2500 RPM for most of the GA aircraft will work and take it from there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, next one I am planning to take the Cessna 208 Grand Caravan for a spin because that was a requested uh, tutorial by Norberto I believe so we will look into that. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet uh, please do so and turn on the notifications to get notified for the future episodes because now I think we have done most of the aircraft it is time for us to do more flights and look into other things like maybe um, add-ons which I have one that I want to really share with you guys that adds passenger simulation to Airbus A320 so take care of yourself in these crazy times and I will see you in the next video.